Alrighty, so we're back in New Hampshire in the truck. Let's see. This is gonna be like our fourth attempt when we live here. Should be another interesting race. Gonna be a lot of fun. As long as we don't get taken out or anything. Seems like these truck races are actually a lot better than the Xfinity cars. Xfinity race we had here was horrendous. Just fell to cautions. And it wasn't really fun at all. So. Apparently the UI is down for iRacing right now, so these are all people that are going through the website. We did try to do an Xfinity race earlier, and there weren't enough people to even make it official. So, instead of doing that, we jumped in this truck race just to see what we could do. We really didn't want to do a truck race, but... Because we've done so many already, but... Figured why not get another race in. See if we can maybe try and get a win here. Before the track switch over tomorrow, but... Doubt it, especially with how fast the two car ran. He uh, absolutely beat everybody by <laughs> quite a bit, so oh. I'm expecting him to pull away pretty fast. Apparently, he has something wrong with his shifter, but a quick radio check, hopefully, that doesn't cause anybody issues or anything if it breaks or something. Pace goes off. Big man, do your job. Don't get the best start. That's probably gonna try and maybe bump us. That was kind of got a little bit of loose there. No one on our outside. Oh, we got people in the back end really loose. Someone's on the grass there. But we're still going green, surprisingly. There's our caution mode. As we start to get very loose off the corner. But don't lose it or anything. Yeah, that he was just really quick. <laughs> he was pulling away. Caution must have originated in the back for this one because nothing up front here. Seemed to separate pretty well. And he I was just driving like a complete idiot like we saw in the Xfinity cars. Yeah, the lot. Okay, maybe I'm a bit nervous about this thing. Ah, you're just playing as fine. So we definitely need a better start than we had. That was not good. We ended up losing positions because that. Yeah, I was in that race. Yeah, I started with the leader, but trucked and just did not move. So we might try and start it in first gear. Yeah, we're going to start in first. Second gear uh, just did not have enough speed. 16's probably freaking out. Did that? For good reason. I usually get nervous when people are a little aggressive on the pace laps or caution laps. Luckily, we'll be on the inside line again, so... That's well. Why is the guy behind me hitting me? A couple of these guys might try a power move down there. The one. 
Well, that's concerning. That would be the six. Matthew Johnson, 18. There's a lot of Matthew yeah, Johnson. Moment. So, let's drop it in first. Hopefully this doesn't get us loose. Okay, us. It really doesn't help us either. Kind of a slow one start. One, point one, four, nine, outside. Real bad. Outside. That could have been bad. Clear high. Driving in a little outside. too hard. Still there at your door. Are clear, so that's good. Let's get this optimal racing line and try and pull away from the guys behind us. Ruck feels really tight. Not really liking how it feels, to be honest. It gets pretty loose coming into the corner there. Pretty good run there. I don't know if they're going to be trying to go too wide there. They don't. That feels really weird right now. Like it's loose, but it's getting tight mid corner. This doesn't really feel good. It's tight there, but then when I'm trying to get off the corner, it gets extremely loose. Not really fun to drive, to be honest. Oh, we have contact. How you doing in there, kid? We got a bit of a stickler here in the pits, guys. Alright, so we have another caution. I don't know if it was a guy behind. I don't know if it was a guy that... No, I think that was in the back. Not fully sure. We'll have to see on the replay. On that note, though, we might be taking tires, depending on how everyone wants to play this. We didn't really have too much racing going on. Pit road is open. The only thing we can really change is our front brake bias here. Might end up changing that back just a tiny bit. Just to give us a little bit more bite. Ooh, he's going in. Yeah, I need to change my wheel a little bit because it doesn't it only does increments of two, I guess. Pit road is closed. Okay, there we go. Guess that works. I also have a different type of recording going on now. We lowered our bit rate down. Fixed our microphone because it was way too, way too strong and uh, it was overpowering the mic. And we were getting a lot of crackling in that, so hopefully that'll be fixed now. Along with, uh, I noticed when cars and trucks would spin out, it would dip in frame rate really bad for some of the videos. So this should fix it now and it should improve the quality a lot better. We were trying to record in 4K and it was just too much for it. So dropped it down to 2K, brought our bit rate down to, I think, 25,000 so kilobytes per second. Variable and it goes up to 30K, I believe. On the front straight away. One to go. One minute so it definitely zero. helped a lot. You will be in the and bottom the video time. should be a lot smoother with well, little sacrifice in quality because I doubt many people are viewing these in 4K anyways.
kind of just want to get through this race clean. We're in fifth with a number 12, so we should definitely gain some pretty good I rating in this. Don't have to really win it. We're going to start in second again. First was a nightmare. And we got a really bad start, to be honest. Oh, it just tends to go right when that pace car. This guy's just going to head to the back of us. I don't know if that's like he touched us again. I don't just want to get by him. I don't know how many times it's going to do that. And I just overdrive it horrendously because I don't really want to be around the six. I don't know how many times he's going to tap the back of me. Line up behind the date. I take it we're still going to stay out just because we're not even halfway. Going to get any more. Number 16, Bummy, I can't have to lay off. The road is open, adjust your brakes if needed. We're going to restart behind the gate. We do go in. We're shouldn't lose any positions because the guy behind us are very far back. Yeah, before we were on the green, it was it was getting a good bite into the turn. Then mid corner, it would get really tight, start to push, and then coming out of the corner, it would just get very loose. Though so we might have to play with the throttle a little bit on corner exit to try and make it so it doesn't get as loose, and maybe also slow down a corner entry just a bit. Just so it's not getting as tight pushing up the racetrack. We could also try and change up our line a bit as well. See if that does anything for us. I don't know what the guy behind us is doing. Now he's just stopping everyone from pacing normal. Looks like some guys came in. Pit road is closed. Do you have a kit already? A what? What kind of VR kit do you have? Oh, I don't have one. Just, uh, so, I wouldn't mind the six, but he just kept hitting the back of us. Granted, he didn't spin us out, What's thankfully. Good, um, so, I guess I can't complain too much, but. I don't know how soon you're this trying to This kind of makes me a bit nervous. Your best case, if you're going to buy it, would be wait for the, uh, the next one. I think it's coming out in like six months or so. I'm not sure. You have to look it up. We'll be on the inside once again. Yeah, like. I don't, like I don't know why we keep getting such bad starts, really to be honest. Season. I don't know if he's starting further back and then. Gassing it before the start, even. I don't know what exactly happened there because everyone should be starting in first or second. And first was horrendous for us. Well, I'm assuming second is going to be the go to. But we really just are not getting good starts. Luckily, the six will be starting on our outside this time. My biggest worry is just pushing up. But as long as we don't overdrive it into the turn, we should be on. Alright, Earl, man, bring them up. Bad job. I can try and get onto the back of this nine as close as I can. 
like I said, he pretty much goes right when that pace car goes in. That was a better start. Oh yeah, we push up really bad. I think everyone else does as well, though. That kind of works for our favor. Six is definitely wanting to get by. And I think he's spinning out. Yes, he is. And there's our next caution. We are officially halfway, so I'm assuming people are going to come in. Okay, Bree, thank you for the port, Rick. Uh, the road is open. Yeah, but it doesn't right. you can fucking take it out on other people. Just because you're fucking upset. Well, there are clearly people not happy with everything that's going on. I don't think anyone's going to pit just because we've had so many cautions. Yeah, this truck is just driving not really good today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if the track is the same as the other races that we ran. It, I think it was said it was 78 degrees. I, uh, I don't know what the track temp actually was, but could it be really anything different than we've been driving on all this week? This really doesn't feel good, to be honest. Maybe we're just slow. Could be either or. I just want to know what this 2's doing. As my voice just... Messes up from talking so much. But yeah, I want to know what the 2's doing, because he is running... Very quick laps. Luckily, though, the six is officially gone from here. Behind the and closed. So is the other guy in the green truck. Okay. Can't really pace correctly, I guess, either. know if it's worth it to scrub these tires. It's usually just because we're not even really racing. <laughs> we're pacing more than anything. I'm surprised we're doing this well. I don't really feel that good right now. Honestly, I have a pretty bad headache. So, not feeling my optimal. One to go. What are you chewing on? Uh, Carrots and salary. Right. So there's the green six, truck. Five, don't know what his number was. Or at least I think that's him. Yeah, I don't know, but at six, he had to be jumping to start, because that time we were pretty decent. And nobody actually caught up to us. We got an eight doing our scrubbing his tires, and the guy behind us almost popped up the back of us. Granted, I'm not. Best. Let's try and make something happen here, or at least try and keep it in the fifth step. Yeah, maybe we just are not good at starts. Oh my god, the two just really drops it down deep. 
Not sure what that was. Might up and might end up losing some positions here. Especially if we push up. There's our loose condition. And we're gonna lose some positions. Oh my god, it's just horrendous. And there's actually the six. Looks like he got hit from behind, possibly. Forget that he's probably on new tires if he came in. So we're in ninth right now. Oh my god, this truck is just loose as can be. Went from being tight to now kind of just horrendously loose. So now we kind of have to work on catching back up here a bit. Yeah, it just feels like crap, to be honest. I've never had it feel this bad. I know we are running a little bit different of a line than everyone else. I know a lot are going high and then coming back down. But we can try it. Doesn't really work that well for us though. So they're one second behind us. Try this low line. Doesn't really work for us off the corner. And now they're definitely catching us. Yeah, so they're coming up high. Might get a good run off the corner here. They're coming up high and then coming back down. That might work for us. Try the high line. We're probably gonna lose these positions anyways. It feels a little bit better actually. Push just really bad in one and two though. Four, four, 
five. Kind of holding them off. And looks like we got something going on here. Does somebody lose it? Do we have a wreck? If we could hold on to ninth, I'd be pretty happy. Coming to five to go. I feel like we're not going to. Inside. Clear. Good job. Working the bottom inside. Still inside. Nope, probably going to lose another position. 32.78. Outside, clear, clear, clear. Oh, he hits the wall pretty hard. A little bit nerve wracking there. Outside, clear outside. Just extremely loose. And we're probably going to lose another position. Still there. Two more, let's go. Still outside. Clear high, clear high. Probably should have came in for tires. 3.2, 8.2. It's ridiculous how bad this truck actually feels right now. It's actually annoying. Water crap, to be honest. rather not lose another position, so let's just try and... Try and just finish P12. Horrible. Absolute garbage of a race. And this truck was just total crap, so... Yeah. Good effort, bro. Good Might effort. not even upload this, but we'll see. Let's see the cautions. Seventeen, thirteen, getting loose. Gets to seventeen a little bit. Squirrely there. comes in, it's out the 17, and they go wrecking. Hits me under caution, no cool eye. Nineteen hitting the wall. Touching the wall. Oh, 17 getting hit again by the 13. By touching the 10.
13. What does he do? He hits the wall. This thing isn't going to hit it again. Doesn't. Oh, God. Okay. Comes off the corner. Hits into the center. Oh my god. These guys have to be up to like a 12x already. Two hitting the wall. Yeah, I don't know what was going on tonight. It did not feel like it should. 16, getting loose, hitting the 10, or making it more wide, and 18 gets taken out because of that. Get taken. He gets taken out by the 10. Oh, and then the 10 comes up, takes out pretty much everybody else back here. Oh, they're still wrecking. Six gets hit again. Wow. Talk about a chain reaction wreck. All I know is I'm glad I was not in the back for this one. I've just taken out the 16, I guess. Those two hit. Eight gets almost taken out, but luckily saves it. Eleven hitting the wall. Nineteen whacking the wall pretty bad. Eight truck is destroyed on the back. And that guy spins out and just eggs it. I'm guessing this is the end of the race. It is. So thanks for watching guys. Not one of our best races or a good race in general, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.